Here is how I make my buttercream colors more saturated without any extra dye and only one additional tool. I'm going to add three drops to about a cup of buttercream and mix it. What you usually see is something like this. Now I'm going to take my immersion blender and mix this at high speed. And I've been using an immersion blender for a couple years when I come up with my frosting formulas because I can't yet afford the big lab homogenizer for my kitchen lab. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's, it's homogenizing or making things more evenly sized and evenly distributed in the frosting. And it does this via a couple routes. The first is physically. It's breaking the buttercream emulsion into smaller droplets. Gel-based food coloring is water-based, and when you whip up your buttercream, you're making a stable emulsion of fat and water. The gel has a difficult time moving past all that fat in the butter to reach the water in the meringue and a little bit in the butter. The other way that it's working is through heat. The blade is moving so fast that it's melting the butter fat a little bit, and that's allowing the gel-based color to reach the water that I was talking about earlier. 